Hi guys and gals, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios. And I'm going to give you a quick Xcart tip, and today we're going to learn how to make a new page in Xcart. So this is a page, not like a static page or a new product page or anything like that. This is a page that stands all on its own, and uh, where we can start working with some of our own custom scripts and logic, uh, and displaying our own template, and uh, just basically create a new section inside Xcart. Okay, let's get started. So what I've done here is I've just copied news.php and started with that base. And, uh, you know, so I've got all my uh, license stuff up here at the top, which is not really necessary, but it's, uh, you know, just a good habit. And uh, the first line is require auth.php. Now that's very important. It's not going to work without that. Um, then we also have include xcart dir include common.php that kind of just includes some common scripts uh, based on the current area that you're in okay the next line 48 we have dollar location this works is uh, is part of the breadcrumbs so I have my new page and then this uh, second argument here is uh, if you want to put a link uh, you know, if you want that breadcrumb to be a link to, uh, in, in case like you have, you know, my new page and then you have a sub page later, it'd be a good idea to assign the dollar location, uh, you know, with that with that higher link. Uh, so you'd put the link right here, you know, in this case it'd be new page dot PHP. Okay, and uh, now we assign Smarty main new page. Um, that's going to be called into effect here in just a second. And then we want to display customerhome.ptpl. I guess I should have prefaced all this with saying we're making a new page for the customer area. Okay, so with all that done, I'm just going to save that. I'm saving it as new underscore page.php right in the root uh, folder of Xcart. And the next uh, thing we want to do is start getting a template together to uh, display. So I should also mention that I'm doing everything within uh, Ideal Responsive Skin. Uh, you could be doing this in the Common File Skin or wherever you'd like. I personally just like to keep all my changes inside my Skin directory, um, and that's just how it works. So I, I expect that, and uh, and that's and that's my uh, way of not messing with the core of Xcart and being able to roll back at any time by just switching the skin. Okay, so I'm going to do a new file. I'm in uh, I'm I'm in skin ideal responsive customer main. I'm going to do a new file and I'm going to call it new underscore page dot tpl, and we're just going to put a hello world. All right, let's save that. New page dot tpl. Save, and we are so close to finished. Uh, remember when I showed you a new page.php that we just made? We did the Smarty, Smarty Assign Main new page. Uh, we're going to have to address that. And normally this is in skin, uh, common files, customer, home underscore main.tpl. In my case, I've actually brought uh, home main over into my ideal responsive because I was going to make some changes. I'm just going to go way down here to the bottom of the list, uh, the last else if, and just copy that. All right. And we're just going to do else if main equals new page. And we don't need an and active modules. We'll just get rid of that. Include file equals customer. main new page dot tpl so that's how you wire it up that's the important part that a lot of people might miss is uh, you, you have to edit home main dot tpl in order to get your new template to display okay let's see how it works okay so let's just go to the front of our store and then new page dot php and there's our hello world. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Now you've got your PHP created and you've got your uh, template page created and you can start adding your own custom scripts and logic uh, to do whatever you like. All right, that's all for today. 
This is Mike White signing off, wishing you good luck in all your e-commerce efforts. Talk to you soon.